what? Let's just hit the recording button in case this game is awesome. And if this, if this makes it on YouTube, every viewer clicking on this video is going to know immediately that it's awesome because it made it on YouTube. How crazy is that? Spoilers. What's up, Real Brick Tamlin? How you doing, bud? So, in Ekaterina lane, she's actually running Flash. I should be able to kill her pretty easily. Fourth wall demolished. <laughs> Alrighty. So we start with E. E is OP. For those of you that don't know what Gwen does, I know there's a lot of people in my chat right now that don't know. Our passive is just magic damage on hit. If you hit a champion, it heals you. Q is your snip, snip, snips. You get an ammo bar under your health. That's the four notches there. Every time you auto attack, you get ammo that will be consumed by your Q for additional snips. Hit people in the middle of it where that little line is. It'll deal true damage and apply your passive. W is going to give me a field that increase my armor and MR. Uh, I can recast it to pull it with me, or if I run out of it once, it will go with me still. When I'm inside that, like I said, armor and MR, but I also can't be targeted by anything outside of it. My E is a little dash that also increases my attack range, gives me attack speed and magic damage on hit. And if I auto attack something while the buff is up, I'll get half the cooldown refunded. My ultimate throws needles. The needles will apply my passive. First cast throws one needle. If I hit anything, anybody with anything. So, a ward with an auto attack. Who cares? Blue buff with my Q. Doesn't matter. I can recast the ultimate again. He'll throw need three needles. I can hit something else. I can cast it again. Throw five needles. There you go. Now everybody knows what this champion does. Ooh! Wait. Stop fighting me. Stop fighting me. You lose this. <laughs> so another cool thing that you just saw right there. You can move where your Q is casting from through your E and your flash. So... I E'd, like I hit Q and E'd and then flashed all at the same time, and it moved my Q directly on top of her. But you'll see me doing that for trades here a lot, because I'll do it out of the base here too. So like you can kind of start the Q animation while you're in your E. Helps a lot for trading. It's you. It's actually a lot more helpful in top lane in my opinion, or in range matchups. But it's still, uh, you'll be doing that pretty much all the time on this champion. So. Definitely know how to do it. And actually, after the Riftmaker buffs, this champion is... She just feels so good. She just feels so solid. Is this recording? I have the... So I have a recording on, but obviously, like, since I'm still streaming, I want to pay more attention to you guys instead of trying to, like, make a video. But I have the recording on in case the game goes really well or something. But when I'm streaming, I try and I try and give you all my pretty much undivided attention. Oh damn! If she hit that cocoon, that was free free kill. We actually win this really hard right now. Nice, Muncher. Oh, she misclicked. Oh no, that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> the emo. <laughs> Is that the scissor girl from Akame got killed? Yeah, it's good old, what was her name? Like Sheila? 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 It's like S H E E L E. With her trusty companion, Ecstase. I'm gonna go follow this Talia's invade. What? Yeah, it's an anime thing. If you're not a weeb, you won't get it. There's a character in a show called Akame Got Kill that she just had a big pair of scissors. Oh, I wanted to cast that so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm already 20 CS up on the Katarina. Rough lane for her. Rough, rough. Yo, God, Potato, thank you for gifting us up, dude. I appreciate that. 
Upgraded for you. <laughs> so, guys, I actually never... Okay. Don't be mad at me. This is an anime opinion that I know a lot of people don't share. Um, But I actually dropped Kill a Kill at the time because it just seemed too horny. Like, it just... That was all it seemed to me was just too horny. And I wasn't... I wasn't enjoying it. I'm not going to commit my ult here because she just E's out to her minion wave on that. But I can still do a lot of damage to her. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, can, I acknowledge the kill a kill was probably really good, but I don't know. This wasn't for me. Same with, um, what else, what else wasn't for me that, like, a lot of people always love? I was not a huge fan of... She's just dead. Oh. I don't miss everything. Let me hit! Oh my gosh. Okay, I missed everything. So she's just alive. She, oh, that's why she was so damn fast. I should have checked her items before I went for that. That's my bad. I also just assumed that I would hit my second ult there, but I completely whiffed, so I didn't get the slow. That's my bad. <clears throat> well, then, like, I didn't like, um... What's that, like, zombie one where they're all rappers? Or, like, idols and singers? Zombie Land Saga, I think? I didn't really like that one. Um, oh, you hate to see it. I didn't enjoy... I actually dropped Death Note. Um, when... When L and Light started, like, working together, I just stopped being interested in it. I also... What else? What else did I drop? I dropped... What's it called? Um, Kogias. That's what it was. I dropped Code Geass, and that's that's the one that like always surprises people. And honestly, if you ask me why I dropped Code Geass, couldn't tell you. No idea why. Because last time I tried to watch it was like <laughs> eight years ago. So at this point, I don't even know why I stopped watching it. It's not pronounced geese? No, I'm pretty sure it's geos. Hello, Thresh. Oh, Code Lyoko? Yeah, dude, that was... Dude, that was back on TV when... Like, I would be sick and not going to school in, like, 8th grade. That's an old one. There goes Talia's Flash. Okay. I'm actually gonna flash on her here. Oh, no. Actually, I can probably win this if Katarina goes on me. I doubt she will, though. <clears throat> so the thing when you're playing against this Katarina build where people are running the Blade of the Rune King, Katarina's ult doesn't do shit for damage <laughs> until she actually has the Bork. So, you can usually do what I just did to her and just stand there. She has to play in a different set of, like, trading patterns where 
she um <clears throat> has to like weave in auto attacks a lot and try and just hit you with short trades and then burst you so it's really weird for her to try and all in on that build did you not like high school of the dead i never watched that one i heard that one was just like 80 percent horny so i just didn't care about it didn't even try <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> I right, still doesn't have Bork. We're good. Only 80% that's generous. Is it? Yeah, like I said, I never watched it. I never watched it. <laughs> Fellas, I'm gonna be honest. This Katarina is fucking boring. <laughs> I am so bored <laughs> right now. Roam potential. I can try bottom, but like both of these lanes kind of suck to roam on. Like, I'm sure we've all tried to gank a Camille before. And that well, that doesn't work. Because Camille just has a six second cooldown on going across the entire lane seven times. Then bot lane with Tristana, uh, same thing. Oh, but she's coming to me. So all I had to do there was stand on top of the Camille. And uh, it made it so she can't actually bounce off the wall there. Because if she leaves the wall in her E, she'll just hit me. Do it. Do it. Oh. <laughs> well. I don't know about that. What is this? I'm tanking it just to make sure. I tried to walk back into range there because I didn't know, honestly, like how far Thresh was going to get knocked towards that tower. So I wanted to make sure that I was the one taking it. This WC is pretty long. You just need to bait it out. So the thing with doing that is... You're correct. If she doesn't get any resets, right? Obviously, if she, like, procs her bomb, it resets. If she gets a kill, it resets. Um, but... In terms of trying to roam onto her from mid lane, guys, <laughs> but in terms of trying to roam onto her from mid lane, if I go bottom and all I get is Tristana's W cooldown, I can't really afford the time unless I'm just like done with the entire game. I can't really afford the time to go down there get her W cooldown and then like repeat gank it again, right? Like. I can only really do that under specific situations. Hello. Goodbye. <clears throat> I also chose Nashors here because I like the item more than Riftmaker. That's, uh, <laughs> I, d <laughs> I don't have a better reason. I just really like Nashra's teeth. I'm gonna see if this is up. What oh, a lucky day. I'm 
And I'm gonna sit right here. Oh, damn it. And do that. Uh, I don't think I can actually do this, can I? No, I totally can. I'm pretty strong. Oh, I actually tried to uh, hit her with the true damage part there, because even if I get exhausted, it doesn't matter. Because true damage just goes through exhaust, but she actually went to the side instead of running straight down there. So she dodged my true damage. Well played. Well done. I'm gonna go get my Rift Maker. I am a fed Gwen. I've also got pretty good CS this game, too. What are you doing? If I had my ultimate, I would go on her, but I don't, so I won't. I wasn't in one of the kills. Son of a bitch. That's okay. Even watching this, I don't understand Gwen. Your abilities are like zero damage for three hits, and then they just insta-die. Yeah, she is very weird. The best thing I can really say about that is just take her into the practice tool and then try it yourself, because otherwise it's probably really not going to make much sense. <sighs> the champion, she's weird. She is very strange. Welcome up here. And then we'll see if I can go invade on. Can I hit this over the wall? Ah, I can. Marvelous. This shouldn't be up. Oh. Ah. Come back here, bitch. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, uh, it's going to be too late now. Doesn't she have her jump right now? There it is. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to keep chasing her there. Come back here. Come back here. Is she going up? There you are. Yeah, execute. Get out of my jungle. Can I dash this? I can. As Zonia as it is. I don't think she's really tanky. She just heals a lot. She does actually get pretty tanky. Because even just right now, if I stand in my W alone, uh, sure, I don't have like a lot of HP. But if my W's up, I've got 34 more armor and MR right now. It's pretty good. And Riftmaker gives you some HP. Then Zonia is obviously a bunch of armor. My work here can do just the same. She gets pretty tanky, honestly. Obviously, she doesn't <laughs> just tank everything. She's not a tank. Tanky. You come into my lane trying to take my minions. I'm out of here. I'm going to go try and fight their entire team and probably die. Okay. I almost bursted all three of them. Damn it. There's her flash. Honestly, I thought they kind of saw me there, but when they didn't actually throw any abilities at me, I didn't need to really worry about it. So even if they do, I just use my W, right? Because keep in mind, if they try and hit me from outside my W, they can't CC me or touch me. I'm going to go take this blue again. I'm sorry, is she doing my blue buff right now? 
bitch. Bitch, don't smite it. Yoink! <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, oh, I didn't recast my ult. Okay. I saw had Zonia's, so... Oh. If Camille E's out of this... Okay, nice. Well, that wasn't the way to do that. <laughs> that wasn't the way to go there. Alright. I've almost got enough money for my entire Abaddon's. I'm not going to pursue this further right now. I lied. I missed. If she goes in on me, I kill them all. So I'm not too worried. I don't really want to take this inhibitor right now, though. I want to go back and get my Rabadons. <clears throat> I think if I hit Tristana there, I kill her with my ult. Uh, do I want Rabadons or Cosmic Drive? Cosmic Drive. I like Cosmic Drive way more. Because now I get 40 more ability haste and movement speed. So nice. So, so nice. Okay. Look at that cooldown, man. It's so nice. This champion is just so fun. Like, I'm actually really glad because when she was on the PBE, she felt horrible, honestly. But thematically, she was really cool. So I'm really glad that they did some of these hotfix buffs to her. Because now she's really fun. Uh, I hit her. Can I proc it? <laughs> okay, so I kind of uh, tested something there. I was curious if me igniting her would tick my uh, cooldown of my ult back up. You don't really do any damage. But, uh, yeah, if you ignite someone, that does not count as a hit for your uh, ultimate to refresh. So today I learned. Ooh. Close. I still do have my Zonias up. Oh, that was so close to killing her. Oh, I thought she was going to go on me there. I'm going to kill this because they can't really stop me. Cosmic Drive is so broken! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this champion so much, man. 
what a fun game. 21 and 3, too. Yo, thanks for playing with me, guys. That was really fun. That was really fun. Holy shit! What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a lot of damage for a 25 minute game. What was my healing? Oh, what was my healing? Uh, how can we find that? Healing done. <laughs> I did almost 17,000 healing in 25 minutes. Holy moly. What about my runes? 1200 from Conquer? Damn. See, that was, that was awesome. You guys think that was a YouTube game? I feel like I spent like 10 minutes just talking about bad anime opinions. My own bad anime opinions. Yes? Alright, we'll, we'll I'll probably upload it then. We'll probably upload it then, just for fun. Well, once again, thanks for playing with me, guys. That was actually really fun. All right, let's do, let's do another. Oh, also, wait, I forgot. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, wait, what's my outro? Hold on. I've never done it, like, not naturally. Someone help. What's my outro? Wait, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. There it is. Peace.